This is how I clean and prep pigeons. I really like pigeons. I take them out of the barn that we have on the property anytime I get. I'm going to show you how to take this pretty little bird and turn it into these. And I have kind of a special way of doing it uh, to save time and to make them attractive. I like to pluck them, but first, if you think pigeons aren't fit to eat, you need to think again. I'm not going to call them pigeon on a menu. We'll call it squab. And I used to sell a single breast for 32 bucks. I'm not lying there. You can find them in stores, vacuum sealed, and you're going to run about 20 to $25 per pigeon. But you want to pluck them for the nicest result. And really, the, the feathers come out super easy. This is not like plucking a goose or something, so you're not going to have a big layer of down underneath the feathers. All you got to do is just pluck the feathers out, and they come out really easy. Pigeons are, yeah, they're small, but these are the easiest birds that I have ever plucked. Uh, the magic is going to come in kind of the, the processing after I pluck them, which I'll show you. Uh, I kind of have a special technique that I have developed called the Burgo Technique. But basically, I just pluck most of the feathers off, but I'm going to leave the wings and the head because that's going to get snipped off here, like I'll show you, the kitchen shears. So I just cut the wings off there because there's not a lot of meat on that, and the feathers are a little bit more tough to get out. And you don't have to take the legs off. I do hear chefs a lot of times will leave the legs on because they make a nice presentation. So know that. They do look nice when you leave the legs on. The next thing is I'm going to try to get some of those extra hair follicles. And then he's got corn in the crop. So I can feel that. I'm going to move that to up by the head. And then when I can feel all the food is up by the head, I'm just going to cut the head off. Bink! Comes right off. Nice and easy. Then I'm going to clean the crop out. This is why I like gloves, and I'm going to wash it too uh, before I vacuum seal them and freeze them. But I'll just clean the corn out, or whatever he's been eating, seeds and whatnot. Here is the real cool part. So we're going to spatchcock it by cutting the spine out. So this opens it right up. This is going to allow us to lay the thing flat too, which is really nice for grilling. So just cut with that kitchen shears and take the spine out and you're gonna see that all the organs and stuff now you have really easy access to them so you're gonna take out the intestinal tract and all that isn't that fun but we're going to make sure to leave the kidneys and the heart and the liver everything else can go you can use the spine you know, put it in stock or something if you want but these organs the organs are really good they're really mild and you will not be, they're like rabbit organs and other small game organs, they're very, very mild. So make sure to save those, and they're great added to your stew, super stew, or your pan sauce, or whatever. And you can also take out the entire, uh, the breastplate, and then spatchcock it like that so it lays flat. That's a really nice dish. Now, you can eat pigeons medium rare and rare too, which is really nice. They're kind of like duck. Another great trick is that I vacuum seal pigeons after putting them in a Ziploc bag first so that the bones don't puncture the vacuum bag. What can you make with pigeons? Lots of stuff. Pigeon pie. You're going to need about five whole pigeons for this. And then all the bones make great soup. This is a skewer I did for Daniel Vitalis' show on the Outdoor Channel. We finish that with a little cherry sauce and a fresh green salad. And that is how I clean pigeons. Thanks for watching.